So this thing's been maintained by a local car wash. And they've waxed it once every couple weeks by hand. So you're going to see how effective that wax is after two weeks of not being waxed. Look at all the water sticking. There's hardly any sheeting or beading of any kind. So we're going to use some hydrofoam and I'm going to show you essentially how this works and how easy it is and also how resistant it is. So we'll just be putting it on with a foam cannon and um, it's the best way to do it for maximum coverage. Gets all over the car, touches all the surface area. As you can see here, this is after application and we're gonna start rinsing. can also be used on glass and plastic. It's just about uh, usable on any exterior surface of the vehicle, making it probably one of the most versatile products uh, that you could possibly buy for this purpose. I know Hydrosilix also performs in the same fashion. So now we're going to test the durability of the product with some Meguiar's wheel brightener and then Nanoskin non-acid. Now, I know that the non-acid is gonna cause it to fail because most silicon dioxide or polysiloxane-based coatings will fail once the pH level is reached above 12. Um, as you can see, wheel acid's been sprayed on the hood and left to dwell for at least five to 10 seconds. And there's been absolutely no effect whatsoever on the strength of the water beating or protection level of the coating. And yeah, so acids, uh, it is definitely more resistant to acids than it is um, anything else. And that Meguiar's wheel brightener is diluted 50 50 so there's 50 percent water 50 percent product in the sprayer now this is nanoskin non-acid and i'm expecting this to cause a failure which it does uh slightly it's not a terrible failure but it definitely uh causes the water to cling but you still see some sheeting um on the paint and of course um, like i said i was expecting this to happen completely